All right. We got a couple of interesting scenarios to show you here. The first scenario is going to show the real power and flexibility the system has, and it will combine the use of smart carts, mobile robots, and pick the light technology. And some other cool stuff you're going to love. And I say knock your socks off and get you, but it's going to be cool. All right, and by the way, we're using uh, Fetch Robot from Fetch Robotics. We can use almost any robot vendor. We can even use robots from different vendors at the same time. So as you can see here, the robot's taken the smart cart, and that just means it has its own light system, and it's met the picker, the lovely and talented Nicolette is coming over. There she is. And this zone also has lights on the locations. Now, first off, notice that the Sophion system automatically recognized the part as it got near. And you can tell that happened because the lights in the pick locations turn on as soon as the car was arranged. All right, now, before we got here, the WMS performed several advanced functions. One of those would be sophisticated cartonization. Another was grouping these orders into what are called cluster picks. And that simply means it is combined picks for several orders into just one stop at each location. All right, Nicolette, are you ready? Okay. So you can see the operator, Nicolette, is now confirming what she's picking by pressing lights. The lights on the cart then tell the picker what orders need the skews. There you go. Now here's what else to keep in mind. The Sophion WMS is using very sophisticated algorithms to determine which orders should go to each pick cart. And the travel time across all the carts is in operation is minimized, that drives productivity. Also worth noting is that the orders to be picked on each cart can actually be changed dynamically while picking. For example, if there's a high priority order is received. So we're not showing you that in this scenario, but we'd be happy to show you, show you that after the demo. Okay, and there she goes confirming more. Pushing the lights up and down. Very good. Voila. All right, now you can see we completed our picks in the pick the light area. Now there's something really cool. Most systems using pick the light are limited to picking just in the zones that have lights. So picks in non light areas are handled separately and then merged down the street. So this is an important point because having a light or a slow moving item may not be cost effective. Now I'm going to mention here the Sophion's approach, lights are less expensive. Alright, so the Sophion order fulfillment system can combine light and non-light picks onto one cart. As you see, we're going to do here. After the robot automatically moves the cart to the non-light zone where G-Body is here, G-Body wave at everybody, there you go. This could involve the same picker or the robot to deliver the cart to a different picker working in this zone without lights. All right, since we don't have lights in this pick zone, we're going to use a scanner. There's your scanner. There you go. Connect it to a tablet. So G-Body, go ahead and scan the SKU as directed by the tablet. After you scan the lights on the cart, as you can see on this side of the stage here, We'll tell you which orders on the cart need each of the SKUs. Now just a quick note too, this picking could have been done using voice instead. We're happy to show you that after our demonstration. All right, now we're done with the picks for that cart. We're running into the photographer over there. Come here. So next, the fetch robot automatically takes the cart to the packing area as directed by the WMS. Now once again, the system automatically recognizes the cart at the pack station. And the first order to pack is indicated by a blinking light, which you can probably see over there. And that also triggers, triggers labels and any documents to print for that order. So you can see that the lead is taking the label right there. And any kind of documentation that goes along with it. There we go. So from here, the carton is sealed and labeled and probably sent off on a conveyor with a print and apply for the labels. And then the light indicates the next word of the process, and again, it will print the label and any information. 
But just so you know, another configuration option would be to have all the labels and documents for the orders on the current print at once and in sequence, which might be fast. And when packing is complete, the robot would normally be dispatched for another task, but here to show Colonel Pickering, our, our robot, is just going to hang there. All right, so that's scenario one. So let's move on to our second scenario. We're ready to go. And Monica is going to be our picker. Thank you, Monica. Now this time it's, it's, uh, it's going to involve what is called a put wall, a fulfillment approach that has become very popular in e-commerce and retail fulfillment. It could really potentially benefit any piece picking operation. So we're launching the robot. This time picking up a standard cart that does not have any lights. Okay? And you'll notice too the cart's a lot larger. And the WMS knows that and optimally assigns orders to the cart based on its specific configuration. Alright, so the robot picks up the cart, takes it to the first location. Again, we're using lights here. This time though, we're going to use a to a batch pick instead of a cluster pick. Monica's doing there. And what that means is we're picking the number of items for each SKU across all orders that will be processed in the wall from this way. So she gets the light, places the items on the cart, and then continues the process for the next SKU. There we go. Follow the light. All right. Blue light obviously is the robot scanning the area, so it's not going to run into you or something else. So there it goes. All right, now the robot again moves to the zone without lights. Again, we use a batch pick. This time we'll scan the SKU barcode and then move the picks to the cart, as G Body is going to do. So G Body makes those picks. Now this time the robot moves the cart to the demo put wall. And again, when the cart approaches the wall, the Softion WMS is going to automatically recognize which cart it is and what SKUs it contains. Smart. There are multiple football modules in Softie on WMS which direct the robot to the correct module. By the way, one of our e customers, uh, e customers, customers sorry, for example, uses six footballs. Alright, so Monica is, scans the first skew. She's got her handy dandy scanner there. And now the lights on the wall indicate to the operator which orders represented by the cubby holes or slots leading the skews to the right locations and confirms the puts by pushing the lights. There you go. Now when the first skew has been processed, she scans the second skew, and now the lights on the wall for the second skew are illuminated, so on and so forth. The process is going to continue until all the skews on the cart are complete. And then on the back side, Another operator is moving products from the wall into individual shipping cartons, again directed by the lights, and indicate which SKUs to select for each order. Another thing that's important here is that we can have multiple operators putting or picking product on the wall, and each would know their own work based on the color of the lights, one color for each worker. Here we go. Then the system is going to automatically print the right label and the required documents. And there it is. Carton gets sealed and it's ready for shipping to your home, business, uh, get away in the Bahamas, what happened.